This is the department traffic unit. There are eight officers that work in, out of this office. They have uh, three desks. These are the people responsible for re-diagramming all uh, serious injury and fatality accidents. This is where they do all their work. This division. We have a community affairs officer. This is where we store all our stuff that we hand out as far as safety pamphlets, coloring books. There's another closet. This is where I work out of. Um, there's currently four people assigned to this room. With the desk in here, it's like eight feet by 11 for four of us. As you notice, there's six chairs in here right now. That's because one of our officers is a training officer and he's responsible for training two new officers. So they're in this office right now during training. Okay, during the summertime, uh, school resource officers also work for me. I'm administrative sergeant in charge of community affairs, PAR, and school resource. During the summer, they come in here and they work out of this office as well, and that's five additional officers crammed into this office during the summer. We don't even have chairs for them. <laughs> So we try not to keep them in here very much, try to keep them out on assignments, but they all do have to work out of here. So it gets rather crowded in here. I mean, right now, we have to, if we have any sort of a large meeting group of some place, we have to find some place to use. We can't uh, do it here. So we have to make arrangements and rent or you know, at least get it signed out to us, a uh, public space where we can meet. So that would be much more convenient to have us have that right in our station where we could bring in you know, neighborhood watch groups, neighborhood associations. Uh, we can have those meetings there right where we have all our research and reference materials as well. We've got two interview rooms side by side. Uh, the problem is the rooms aren't soundproof, which obviously creates a problem. Uh, if we're trying to conduct two different interviews, you know, we can't have somebody sitting in here while somebody's being interviewed in here because they'll actually hear what's going on. Uh, when that happens, because there's usually somebody out in the lobby, that person has to be taken into one of our offices to wait until they can be interviewed and then the other person shuffled out. And again, a lot of times you don't want them seeing each other or passing each other, so it becomes kind of a game, a shell game of hiding somebody in this room while you bring somebody you know, out of this room and then bringing them back in. Creates an obvious problem. This is the front office space. Um, this is obviously also used as storage. Uh, in the new building, I would really like to see somewhere that we could have storage separated from our working area. Um, and here there's more storage and a lot of our, our packaging items right now are actually stored in the uh, conference room because we just don't have enough room in here. Really, if we have a scene where we have multiple suspects or multiple victims, we don't have enough space. We can't, we can't mix um, evidence, so only one person's evidence can go into each of these storage spaces. So a lot of times we put brown paper down and we cover it up with more brown paper to prevent cross-contamination, but it's laying on carpeted floors, which that in itself is kind of a little bit of a scary thing. During shift change, officers come in. We have 14 parking spots for cruisers. Um, as you can see, there aren't enough parking spots. Uh, guys have to park diagonally out behind. Also within those cruisers, there's one for a crime lab. Uh, property has a van. So all the cars, and a lot of them aren't even here yet. Comes another one pulling in. Just the parking here, it just doesn't work out for us. Right now, everybody that has to do courthouse business enters through the, the front door of the courthouse here. At the same time, officers that have to come to court park out here in the lot. Uh, this is our entrance door right here. Just in case there's a confrontation or people don't like what happened at court, they can really be upset with the officer if they see what vehicle they're in. Um, they can obviously do some damage to their personal vehicles. We also have to park out in the, the metered lot here, which takes up uh, space for people to do courthouse business. In the new facility, I just like to see more workspace. That's really, we just need more space. We have a lot of really nice equipment. We have a lot of new and updated uh, stuff. I mean, there's always stuff that you have a wish list to get, but uh, we really just need more workspace.